The About Being programme sees stroke survivors taking part in sessions with performance artists with the aim of helping their recovery through the medium of dance. A multitude of benefits, uh, physically, um, socially, confidence, uh, the way that the group is, is run, there are sort of eight to ten in the group, um, we move to on a weekly basis. Um, just the getting out of the house for a start. Once you've, once you've had a stroke, life can shrink. It can become very, very small, um, and so all your social networks uh, sort of fall away. So the other thing of being able to get out of the house, coming to a group of like-minded people, a lot of chat, a lot of sort of catching up, what's happened over the past week, a lot of jokes, and then the movement comes into it. The sessions, which we were asked not to film, aim to give a multitude of benefits to the participants. Um, I think what um, the beauty of the way that dance works as opposed to something like a gym is that it's, uh, it's not prescriptive, um, it's much more creative and can draw on the natural creativity of the individuals as well. The social element is enormous and that sort of confidence that's built through that and, and obviously it's all sort of folded into one so if you have more physical confidence then your confidence in yourself um, and your expression gets bigger and then you're more confident to go out and so on and so forth, it's, it's all so intertwined. The programme is run in conjunction with staff and students from the University of Cumbria and is nominated for an Educate North Award for the way that it helps students learning. Ecstatic, really, really, really exciting. Um, it's really nice to know that the practice, the collaboration, the kind of thinking behind um, the students' learning and how we deliver that has been recognised for as, as, an, as a new approach and so that's really welcoming. Um, the learning is embedded into those sessions as well so the students um, have um, training, some expertise, some knowledge about uh, the activities. Well, I think one of the innovative things about the project is that we're working cross-departmentally. Um, I think in professional practice, um, art has been used within the health settings many times before, but it is a key focus and we're looking to develop that practice. Um, I think uh, in terms of educationally, academically, we would sit as two um, separate departments because we're so busy with different focus. And so this has given us an opportunity to, say, to kind of come together, start those conversations and begin that collab collaboration. The students help run the sessions in return for learning about their various disciplines. I think the main thing is you sort of get to see people that have had strokes in like a real life situation. So a lot of the time when, when we go on placement as well, you see them in, in the hospital setting where they're getting a lot of treatment and a lot of support from everybody. But when they come out into the community, it's, it's very much limited in terms of what they get in the hospital. So being able to see how people cope and how they can um, get a benefit from a group like this, it's really useful from a, from a student point of view, I think. Yeah. I think also it's really rewarding for us to you know, see these people come to a group and they're delighted to see you and you have a wonderful hour session and then they head home and you know, you don't see them again for another week but you feel, you feel really good You feel good like they, they want you to be there as yeah. well, they, they like all, to have your company. and We all look forward yeah, to seeing Yeah, we look each forward other. to coming every and week. From so. a dance perspective it's really good to see like how they can still move so well, like they have so much range of movement even though they've had the stroke. Really beautiful. Yeah. And it, it's had such a, a huge impact on each of the participants' like lives. Like they've all progressed so much by being in this group. So yeah. you know, potentially getting the award will really just highlight the the wonderful work that Susie has done for them. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. that's what the group's about. The group's not about us or or no. even, it's not it's not about any of us. It's about the people who come into the group yeah. and about their lives. While the team are delighted to have been nominated for the award. It's clear that for them, the true reward is in the work itself. Kira McFadgen, that's TV.